the ring announcements. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we continue with a heavyweight contest of eight three-minute rounds. Introducing in the blue corner the Midland area heavyweight champion from Wolverhampton, wearing the white uh, trunks with the black trim, Michael Tucker Richards. And in the red corner, wearing the blue trunks from Woolworth, the number one contender for the British heavyweight title, undefeated in 14 contests, 12 inside the distance, Henry Akimwandi! <laughs> At the weigh-in today, Richard scaled 17 stone, 4 pounds, Akimwandi 16 stone. Your timekeeper for this contest, Mr. Harry Foxall, the referee, Mr. Terry O'Connor. Well, this is quite interesting. Henry Akinwande on the left of your picture. Look at him, six feet, seven inches, up against Michael Richards. It looks, quite honestly, this, like it might be a bit of a mismatch. Akinwande is one of our leading heavyweights. It's managed by Dickie Duff. Unbeaten so far, towering figures, done nothing at all wrong. He was a very good amateur, boxed in the Seoul Olympics. And he's now extremely close to the championship picture. In the other corner there, Richards weighing the heaviest of his career by half a stone at 17 stone, 4 pounds, which doesn't bode too well, though he looks reasonably well muscled. He doesn't look too flabby at that weight. But uh, Akin one day gangling and with this massive reach and a crisp puncher too as we've seen before he is a crisp punch and he's very tall has a very good a very good reach and also he can punch quite hard but it, he's got to be careful richards is a big guy he doesn't look out of shape he looks in good condition and obviously he's a heavyweight and with a heavyweight anything can happen but richards has been stopped and knocked out three times before and akin one day starting to land with some body shots there I think Akinwandi will want to get this, this fight over as quick as he can. I know Richards was beaten off, off Herbie Hyde in, in three rounds, so I think Akinwandi will want to, to better that. This is great rivalry and a press campaign going on by Mickey Duff to get Akinwande and Barry Hearn's big prospect Herbie Hyde together. And Akinwande would love to finish off Richards here in quicker than three rounds to make a point to Hyde. Can he do that? Good sharp jab from Akinwande. Been pretty impressed by him whenever I've seen him he's weighing the heaviest of his career he's caught by a good right hand there from Richards 16 stone tonight back in one day and he started off at under 15 stone when he first turned pro I can one day looks good he's made a nice crisp start he's getting that jab off and trapping Richards on the ropes and putting in some good combinations but he's got to be careful when he's there as, as of yet he doesn't look like he's hurt Richards so Richards is always looking for a, a counter. Richards almost needs a step ladder to get up to Akin one day. He does it. Unbelievable. Six foot seven. That's a he's, light on his feet there, Richards. He is light. And he's got a... Richards is working quite well. Akin Wandy has a, an unbelievable build. He's got very slim legs. One of those head punches got through that. Uh, Richards, he's having to cover up and he goes down there under the sheer weight of the assault. Is he going to get up? He does at eight, but he's blinking now and looking a little bit disorganized and a bit bemused and a bit bewildered. And Akin one day letting go again. The referee's taking a close look. Terry O'Connor used to be a Midlands area heavyweight champion himself, like Richards is now. And again, the weight of the punches forces Richards to flee and take cover, and this is not going to go very much further. Does get his gloves up. 15 seconds left in the round. They're going to be a difficult 15 seconds for Richards. The question is not who wins this now. It's whether Akinwande can last. He comes back bravely, Richards. And the bell goes, and it just about saves Michael Richards from first-round defeat. Hampton won five and lost four his nickname is Tucker he can kick quite hard with the right hand here's the first knockdown Glenn I can wonder who's pouring it all in there and it didn't seem as if it was that hard a punch that got him it just seemed as if Richards you know didn't have nowhere to get out of the way so he 
he chose the easy option and went down. He didn't seem to be hurt that badly from that. Yes, he just couldn't get off the ropes, and that's more or less what happened the second time as well. That's right. The, the, the mistake that Richards is doing is when Agenwandi gets him and traps him on the ropes, he just covers up. He's not trying to fight out of it, and he's not trying to, to tie him up. He's just standing there and allowing Akinwandi to tee off on him. Ten of Akinwande's wins have come inside the distance. Indeed, no British boxer before this has taken him all the way. Three Americans and a Dutchman did. They say about Richards, by the way, that he did once have Lennox Lewis down in sparring, but he's going to be down himself again here now, and I don't think he wants to know much more about this. And Terry O'Connor may well call a halt at this point. Now Richards gets the gloves up again. I don't think he really wants to go on. I, I don't think he does. He appears to be a gun shy. As soon as I can one, it looks like he's going to load up. Richards just covers up and, and goes into a shell. And from there, he can't do anything. Here he is, same position again, cowering, covering up. He can't get off those ropes. And it's testimony, really, that Akinwande is carrying some weight in his punches. He's hurting Richards. His punches don't look tremendously hard, but they look sharp and accurate. That's it, that's it. Not a moment too soon, either. Boos from the crowd. And Michael Richards, as we could have predicted beforehand, he held the... Uh, Midlands Championship but in all honesty that does not mean very much and Henry Akinwande makes it 15 wins out of 15 and like Neville Brown before him tonight he's going to face rather steeper mountains than that one he is he's going to have to face a lot a lot stiffer opponents than that Richards from the from the right from the offset didn't look as if he wanted to know and when Akinwande started the punch he was content to cover up which enabled Akinwande to, to get through with lots of sharp shots well, I wonder whether we will see Akin one day and Herbie Hyde together. Promotional rivalry between Mickey Duff and uh, Barry Hearn may dictate against it, but uh, we shall see. No doubt the publicity campaign will carry on in the trade papers. Ladies and gentlemen, after 56 seconds of the second round, the referee stops the contest. Michael Richards being in no position to continue. The winner, Henry Akinwande. So it took only three minutes and 56 seconds for Henry Akinwande to stretch his unbeaten run to 15 fights here. Okay, we've swapped roles again. How did you find it briefly before we talk about Akinwande? Well, at the end of the day, I think it worked out a draw, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Are you telling me when, when they were on the fight that I didn't do too badly in the ring? So I'm saying it was a draw. I'm saying I didn't do too badly either. <laughs> well, you always done your own PR, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, let's get seriously. What about the Akin Wanda? How do you how do you how do you rate Henry? Henry Akin is one of the best heavyweights we've got in the country at the moment. Very awkward, um, long arms, good reach, and it would be very interesting to see him in the ring against Herbie Hyde because that would determine the successor to i.e. Lennox Lewis or Frank Bruno. Yeah, I mean, Ian mentioned it. There is a lot of rival between Mickey Duff and Barry Hearn. Put your life on the line, what would happen? Because they're similar sort of stages in their career. Mm. Akin one day against Hyde. In putting my life on the line, I'll say to you that they, them two will never fight. <laughs> <laughs> you know the game too well. Yeah. But if they did? Um, if they did at this stage, I'd have to put my money on Akawandi because I've actually worked with him and I know how good, how fast, how frustrating. And I can understand why his opponent quit tonight because he's very frustrating to fight. He's a sharp puncher. I mean, Hyde's good, but he's, he's a little bit light, isn't he, really? He's not a heavy heavyweight. Hyde is very light and for the first time he'll find himself in the ring with somebody who's a lot taller than he is, who has a lot longer reach, and who's most of the... Move around pretty well. They're both quick and they both carry a big punch. And...